we go. <laughs> everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. We are back out at the range. And if you have been following the channel, I have been doing a few videos on lever action guns. And this one right here is the newest one. This is the Henry Big Boy X chambered in 357. This is going to be an eight plus one round capacity has some really nice fiber optic sights, and this has been on my wish list for quite some time for a very specific reason. We're gonna talk about that in this video. So let's check it out. I've got it loaded up. Let's find out. Woo! Woo! Man, that is nice. Very light recoiling and just a lot of fun to shoot, let me tell you. So in January, I was at SHOT Show, specifically their range day, or what they call industry day. They had one of these uh, available to shoot. It was the exact same one. They were running 38 Special and had a JK Arminit uh, suppressor on here. And let me tell you, it was super easy to shoot. Very, very light recoiling, very, very quiet. And ever since then, I've really wanted to get my hands on one of these because uh, I thought that this would be a lot of fun to shoot. It'd be a lot of fun for my daughter to shoot if she ever wants to come out and do something a little bit bigger than say, 22 long rifle. So I went ahead and picked this up. Now, these are usually, when the market is not so chaotic, they're usually coming in right around that 900 to a thousand dollar range, but now you're starting to see these prices jump up as far as seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars. Luckily enough, I was able to find this on Gun Broker from a private seller and was able to pick it up for uh, fourteen fifty. So, very happy with that. And uh, let's do some more shooting. Just real quick, I am running this black belt ammunition. This was sent out to me for some testing. I've done some chronograph stuff, have been really impressed with what it was able to do out of the 1894 uh, Marlin that uh, American Cash Exchange was so gracious to donate to the channel for us to uh, use with my collaboration with Officer Greg. So uh, black belt ammo is what I'm shooting right now. To the uh, right of my truck is the target at about 75 yards. Let's see if we can score a shot on it here. Oh, just to the right. Ah, oh, missed again. What is going on? Doing so good. A little high. Oh, 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 I was doing so good and then I <laughs> dropped it off at the end there. But uh, man, this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun.
All right, just to the right of my truck, I am about 100 yards. We're gonna try it again. 50 yards, I was on target first three rounds, but then I started missing them for some reason. So we're gonna try it again. Don't worry, I'm well to the right of my truck. I'm not gonna hit it, so let's see what happens. Oh, just over the uh, right shoulder of the target to the left as we're looking at it. That one's low. There we go. <laughs> Took me four shots. Let's see if I can get that one more time. Ah, I missed it, but uh, it was worth a try. Uh, I definitely should probably put a red dot on here. These iron sights here are pretty decent with the fiber optics. I do like the fiber optics, but anything outside of 50 yards, just not going to cut it for me. All right, so that's the first 100 rounds through the Henry Big Boy X in 357. And I absolutely love this thing. It's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, just really, really comfortable. Soft recoiling for 357, obviously, because of the 16-inch uh, barrel on this. Uh, I would love to be able to get this suppressed. That's something else that I'm going to be working on <laughs> over the next year because we know how suppressors work. So definitely something that you guys should check out. If you have the opportunity to pick one of these up, regardless if that's in 357, 3030, 45 Long Colt, 4570, whatever caliber that you like in your lever guns, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. It's just, it's just a lot of fun to shoot. So some of the things that I'm going to be looking to do in the near term is get something here on the receiver so I can mount a red dot. Definitely going to need a red dot uh, on this. These sights are good, but if you're looking out at 100 yards, it's pretty much covering the entire sight. I will say that these fiber optic sights are really, really good for probably about 25 yards and in. No problem there. But if you're looking to do something at distance, and I'm saying like 100 to uh, 50 yards, somewhere in there, a red dot would help out quite a bit. So, so far so good. Obviously, no issues in running this in the first 100 rounds. And uh, yeah, I'm happy I got it. So. Again, what would you guys like to see as far as some upgrades for this? Sound off in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Pat RMG, I'm gonna be talking to you, boy, because I know you are the master of lever guns and we need to have a discussion on what needs to happen with this thing. So expect me to be reaching out here soon. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. I really, really do appreciate everything that you guys are doing for the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I recommend you guys doing that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my new videos coming out. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Here comes a high five. As always, freedom through strength. Take it easy, guys. Bye.